Hi guys, welcome back to another allotment video. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a mixed video. We're up here today doing a few bits, but the first thing we're doing is sowing some carrot seeds into one of our raised beds. If you've been following, you'll, you'll know all about these raised beds. So we're just going to show you the carrots that we've got, a little bit of information about them, how to sow them, and then over the coming weeks and months, we'll, we'll show you the harvest. So these are the carrots that we're going to sow. They're meant to be really easy to grow and they're high yielding and in this packet you can sow these between March and June and harvest between June and November which it says on the bottom of the packet and if you turn the packet over it will tell you exactly what you need to do so you sow outdoors between March April May and a little bit of June okay so you allow an inch between the rows and it's only about half an inch deep and i've got 2000 seeds here so i've got a lot of seeds so we've obviously prepared the soil first haven't we yeah and um, the soil is reasonably deep probably. yeah deep enough for, deep enough for carrots, carrots anyway. carrots need to be deep um and melanie is just melanie's prepared the soil got a little bit of water Drill. And, we, and we're literally just gonna I'm literally sowing the seeds. Sowing the seeds, as they say, into these little channels and then we'll, we'll cover them back Cover up. it over and then just give it a little bit of a water. And um, we've got this uh, fleece on it. We've got it on every, every one that is growing just while the weather is, it can sometimes get a little bit colder. So just while that, that's frost, going on. Yeah. And um, it, allow, it keeps the moisture on the soil a little bit as well. I'm literally, I've in case made, you're wondering what this is, made a little drill and I'm literally going to take the seeds and I'm literally going to sprinkle into that little channel basically. Okay, and see how it's a bit they like do. Like pe pepper in your hands, yeah, they're very small seeds. So, so look, get, show you, they're very small, so very small little things, mm. and we'll see what happens. And they um, start to come through, according to the packet, within 14 to 21 days. But I would think they'll probably come through in about 14 days because the soil is now nice and warm and the weather is a lot better and we've got a lot of sun as well. So they'll come through a bit quicker. So it'd just be interesting to see what kind of results we get with these, really. Um, if you are thinking about buying... Shall I show you the front? If you are thinking about buying um, this, it's... Uh, Mr. Fothergill's carrot, uh, I think it's Chant Chantenay Red Cord 2, high yielding, main crop, crunchy roots. Um, and that's obviously the sow and information. Mr. Harvesting. Fothergill's seeds are very reliable. So it's April 2023, and as Melanie says, um, the Mr. Fothergill's seed range is reliable. We, we've very had a, reliable. a lot of success growing all sorts of stuff. We've grown so much different stuff. Um, okay, so that's where we are now. So we'll just cover that over, give it a bit of a water, and then we'll, we're up here doing a few bits. So we'll, we'll also include that in the video. Okay, so the second job that we've got to do up here today is to move some strawberry plants into one of these bags. Have you got the details about these bags? Yeah, I have. Yeah, so basically it's in a fabric bag at the moment. We had them grown at home, we brought them up in there and that, but we're gonna convert them to something a little bit better. And these bags have got plenty of drainage in them. They are strawberry grow bags. You get two in a pack for five pounds. We bought them from Audi. Obviously you can get from other places, but if you did want to buy this one we're showing you, then that's where you get it from. Uh, collapsible for easy storage. Eight planting pockets, which is these things. Uh, includes two carry handles, which is these, like webbing. What else does it have on it? Uh, just show you the, I've, I've covered the drainage holes. And it's also got uh, reinforced drainage holes. So what it means by that is just little eyelets. And that, that's obviously important because you don't want them to be waterlogged because that can actually and, damage the plants. And you can use them year after year. They're, they're not a, just a one-off. You can use yeah. them, you know, year after year. So actually they're not a bad buy really, I don't think. I and you can move good. them around the garden. The strawberries hang down. It's yeah. just... It's, there's a lot of benefits to using something it like that. It keeps them off the soil so it doesn't damage the fruit. 
Yeah, and you're probably wondering why we are using these grow bags with strawberries. Well, the reason being is we do have raised beds, but we've got some of them full already and we've got plenty of other plants at home that we want to plant in them. But we'll show you that in later videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that into that and then we'll um, come back to you. So I've replanted the strawberries into the strawberry bag, as you can see. This bag's got eight pockets, as we said, for the strawberries. I only had six plants, so obviously I've only put six in. It's got another two pockets just to fill, which I will do. So I've literally just put compost in, put the plants into the pockets, and then just push the compost against them. So there we are. Yeah. I'm going to add a few more in and another then, bag. And then give it a good water. Um, and they should, and then put them in sun. I would think the more sun you've got, the better. But we've got a lot of sun here, so it doesn't really matter. So they could go anywhere, but we'll probably put them back where we had them initially. And they're easy to move. You've got two handles, so and plenty of drainage holes as well, as you can see at the bottom.